Well, the UK and the European Union wrangled for months over a deal that was supposed to regulate their post-Brexit trade relationship. But almost a year after it went into force, the squabbling continues. French fishermen say London's not honouring its side of the bargain by refusing to grant access to its waters. And now Paris is threatening to take action. The Jeremy Florent is returning to harbour after a night out in the Channel. It has not been a successful trip. The whole catch, there are about 20 kilos of Dover sole back there. And all these are dogfish. They don't really sell. They're worth no more than 20 to 50 cents per kilo. So it's nothing. And a few crabs. All this stuff in the nets, it's worth nothing. The one box of good fish won't even cover the costs of the boat's fuel. Back at sea, Christophe shows us how limited his fishing grounds have become since Brexit. This whole part there, we can't fish there anymore. All that's left is this small bit where we can work. It's nothing. Only half is left. This whole zone where we worked before, we don't have access to, and the British, they'll pursue us if we enter their waters. I don't have a license. He's not the only one. 47 small boats applied to keep fishing in UK waters post-Brexit, but the UK side granted just 12 licenses. Here it's really a total loss. Since January, the small boats haven't been allowed to enter Britain's 12-mile zone. We accuse them of not respecting the agreement they signed, which says access to the waters should be preserved. And now they've added several criteria to block people. Paris has promised to fight back. There's now a big effort from the French side along with the EU Commission to move forward quickly on this issue, which has gone on for too long. Here at Boulogne's fish market, where the daily catch is sold, families are feeling the squeeze. The ships can't go there anymore. It creates problems. Less fishing, less fish, less money, less sales. We have less flat fish. Things like place and Dover sole are difficult to get. It's a catastrophe. With Brexit, we can't go where we did before, so we catch less fish. Last week we had hoped we would get a license, but no. I don't know what we'll do. Maybe go on strike? Some fishermen here have even threatened to block the channel tunnel connecting France and Britain. Jeremy Lomel followed in his father's footsteps in becoming a fisherman, but now he fears the line stops here. I'm not able to work more than six months per year. This can't go on. It's over. Now the season for the whelks is beginning and they live in British waters and we can't go there. But it's hope that keeps us alive. We're waiting another week for news from our government, so we'll see. Batiste is the traditional symbol of Boulogne's fishermen. The future he's looking out on has never seemed more uncertain.